time for another episode of First Impressions with my buddy Del Pollen. This is the uh, this is the show where we go through the first episode of two TV shows, and Del's going to tell you if they're any good or not. Welcome back, Del. Hey, good to be back, James. Like always. Okay, so I don't recognize either one of these shows, so I don't know if there's some sort of clever theme you have going here. Uh, the two shows are Check It Out and Superstore. Let's start with Check It Out. What is this one? Okay, so this one actually came recommended to me by a Reddit user, uh, Slayer Santiago VC. I had never heard we of this show We don't need before. to know the Reddit user's name, but go ahead. Then cut him out. I told <laughs> okay. him he was nice enough for helping me. The only reason is, so the main guy is Don Adams, the guy who played Maxwell Smart, Asian 86, okay. is in this. I've never heard of this show. It's a Canadian show about a fake supermarket named Cobbs that takes place in Ontario, Canada. So it's it ran from 1985 to 1988, 66 episodes, three seasons, and it's based on a, a British show called Tripper's Day that apparently had a lot of problems at any rate. Um, basically, Don Adams um, is the manager at this supermarket back in the 80s, and ownership has a CCTV system installed that's going to put the security guard, Alf, out of business or you know they're gonna have to fire him and he's been there 50 years so howard banister don adams doesn't really want to fire alf and he feels bad about it so he tries to convince alf to retire instead of having to fire him but it turns out that alf is like the sole provider for like his huge family anyway mrs cobb shows up demands that banister fire alf he finally does only for alf to punch him in the stomach uh, later that night, his girlfriend's house, um, she wakes uh, Bannister up to have sex with him, but he can't perform because he's worried about Alf. The next day, Ms. Cobb comes back in, demands that Alf get rehired because some senior citizens group threatened to blow up the supermarket. So anyway, they hire Alf back, and he admits that uh, actually it was him that made the phone call. Okay. So just imagine so this is a Maxwell comedy? Smart running a store, a supermarket. This is a comedy. It definitely is a comedy. It's... I mean, it's a Canadian comedy. It's a, oof, I mean, you could sell what they were going for when they hired Don Knotts. There's a lot of, like we talked about the Pratt Falls before. Um, there's a lot of visual Did you say Don Knotts or Don Adams? Don Adams. I'm okay. sorry to say Don Knotts. You did. You did. No, no. A Asian 86. Um, All right. Th can I, can I just step in here stuff, and say not, this yeah. doesn't sound very good? It's Here's the thing is it's not. it. Even when it came out, it ran three seasons, but... You know, watching it now, I'm like, oh, cool. I like seeing Don Adams, but I didn't care about anything else in the show at all whatsoever. Name a great Canadian TV show. SCTV, well, we've gone through a kind couple of, of them on the show besides, you know, Stools Creek and SCTV, but also Letterkenny, Red Green Show, Trailer Park Boys, um, Shorzy has been okay. amazing. I, I, you're right. I retract the statement. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the middle of another episode of first impressions with del Poland. he just reviewed the first episode of check it out an 80s canadian based show that had the don adams from maxwell smart get smart and now we're going to review superstore i'm not familiar with this one either del what is superstore so superstore apparently was very popular i've had a lot of people over the years recommend this to me originally on nbc from 2015 2021 113 episodes, six seasons. It's only 22 minutes, so it's a half-hour thing with you know commercials. Love those. Um, yeah, the pilot is written by a guy named Justin Spitzer, which is going to be important, and the name will sound familiar, because he co-created Scrubs in the office. That's going to come back in a minute. Anyway, basically, it's a, it's a big box chain store like Walmart. It's a place called Cloud9 in St. Louis, Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri, and it basically follows jonah his first day in the store as he tries to not screw up and kind of win over one of the girls that works there uh, her name's amy and he ends up like repricing a bunch of stuff to 25 cents and there's a run on the store where people are taking out like tvs for 25 cents he builds a wall of coke cans and a sad face that for some reason amy gets mad at him for even though that's a real marketing technique plenty of places do um here's the thing is as i was now it's not like a, a fake documentary or something, but here's something that kept bothering me as I was watching it. It felt very familiar. 
like super duper familiar. And it finally dawned on me when I looked up who Justin Spitzer was, uh, the creator of this show who wrote the pilot. Okay. He co-created, he was the co-creator of the office. And he wasn't one of the main ones, so he wasn't like the guy who went on to do The Good Place and Parks and Rec and stuff. And he wasn't Greg Daniels to do Beavis and Butthead and King of the Hill. He was kind of like third or fourth tier down. And you can tell why, because this show is just the office in Walmart. And I mean like so much so that the main character, Jonah Sims, is just the gym character. Like straight up, he's just the dude. And it has the Dwight the girl. and the boss it is has, Michael Scott. Yeah, so. Amy Sosa is a, basically a snarky version of Pam who's worked there longer. Okay. There's a character named Diana Fox. She's the assistant manager, and she's literally the assistant manager, assistant to the regional manager. She's Dwight, except she's a girl. And Mark McKinney from Kids in the Hall, this is the Canadian crossover. Love him, yeah. Um, yeah, even though the theme is Superstore Madness or whatever it is, um, there, Mark McKinney is Canadian, so there's that little crossover too. He's great. Um and the Dwight character also is kind of funny, but literally Mark McKinney is just Michael Scott, the kind of inept boss that runs the store. Diana Fox, the character is just Dwight, Jim and Pam. It's the main four characters. And even some of the background characters just feel like Creed or Angela or Kevin. It's, you know, it's, it's, or even the Kimmy, what Kimmy Smith, whatever. I can't remember her name all of a sudden in the show, but it's just the office in Walmart. And that's what was driving me nuts because the show doesn't have any of the uniqueness of the office. It literally feels like where somebody like Michael Sherwin often created something entirely new with kind of with parks and rec and the good place and stuff like that. And Greg Daniels already has a history of great shows. It's like Justin Spitzer was like, you know, I worked on this really great show that did really well. I'm just going to like steal those characters and put them in a new setting. And like I said, it's not like a fake documentary, but Anyway, it follows Jonah around on his first day. The end of the show ends up with the store getting robbed, but it ends up being a proposal from a boyfriend from one of the people that works there. It turns into a weird dance number for like 30 seconds. And the Dwight character, Dwight Diana, calls in, you know, the police um, because everybody else is cool with it, but she's, I guess, overreacting in the show in the same way Dwight would. But Clearly, if somebody walks in and says they're robbing the place with a gun, you're going to do that. So, I don't know. This show just felt too whimsical. Like, it's safe, but too safe. It's saney, but also not interesting. And it just, it literally was just like a ripoff of The Office So if Walmart it, for me. If I, if I float over this in my Netflix scanning, should I skip it? Man, I, I know a lot of people like this, but I think it's in the same way they put The Office in on the background. The, this show's just fine. I mean, it's on. It's characters doing a story. I, is There's so much better stuff, though. Like, instead of watching this, I would just go watch The Office a fourth or a fifth time like people do. It still has better characters, and it's more original, and it's funnier. I think I laughed twice, and the only two times, I think I laughed at Mark McKinney and the Dwight character. So Michael and Dwight, the two funniest characters, they just moved over to the other show. They were the only funny characters at all. Everything else was just like standard American sitcom schlock. So I got it. This is maybe the second time I've passed on both shows. Well, listen, that is a, a greater service than telling us stuff's good. You just saved people a lot of time by not checking these out. Well, I, I hope so. You can any any time or money I saved you, you can feel free to Venmo that to me or sell it to me. I'm all good with that. All right. How do, how did the people listening find you outside of the James show? So I host a podcast uh, called TV showcase, which has this segment pilot pass. We have a new one called TV VTV. Um, and basically we just talk about TV on the podcast. It's great. Showcase is one word TV showcase. Thank you very much. That's Dell Poland. This has been Always fun. first impressions. Thank you very much.